So let's hope there's enough room for it to clear the... Hey, welcome back. Well, this is a transmission pan in the 92 Astro van. And if you saw my previous video, it didn't look this clean. I did get under here and clean it up a little bit. It's always nice to work on something that's a little cleaner anyway. And I need to remove the bolts down this side here and on the other side. Now this is a little unusual. Usually drop the pan from the back, but it said to leave the bolts here and remove the bolts from the front, drop it down that way, and then it can go into there. Uh, probably because of the brace that's across here, there's not a lot of room, and when you go to drop it down, it's going to hit. <laughs> so let's hope there's enough room for it to clear the, the uh, exhaust pipe here. Let's figure out what size they are. They look like they're a 13, these guys right here. And I'll start on the other side because it's not wet over there yet. I plan on rolling in this a little bit, but we'll see. So that's what I'm going to do, and they look like I said, they look like a 13. I'll let you know in a minute. All right, these bolts are a 13 millimeter, and I will tell you they're in kind of not very tight. Might be why the whole pan was leaking. These are really, really kind of loose. Let me they'll come right out this so let's see what I can do here for a little bit and like I said I'm gonna get the side bolts first it's always nice to have one of these one of these bolts when you go to put it back together okay. Holding the uh, pan and putting the bolts in are kind of awkward. Okay, I'm loosening the front bolts now. I got the other side. Now, should be able to crack the back ones about a quarter of a turn. And then I'll probably have to get a screwdriver and pry on it a little bit because it's probably stuck a little. There, it's starting to leak a little. You might see it over, over here a little bit. So, we'll crack the back ones down. Let's see what happens. Wear safety glasses and gloves. Make sure your vehicle's jacked up pretty good. Raised, I mean. Not jacked up, but raised. Yeah. I keep hiding bolts on me. I don't want me to get to that one. Obviously. I think I got to that one. Yeah, I did. Okay. How about this guy? Any chance of getting to it? There's always one. There is always one. All right, I got one bolt up here that's a real pain. It, uh, there's a lip sticking out and the bolt's <laughs> under it. So obviously that one's going to be a little difficult to get out. I'm going to work on it and I think I can get a small socket around it. Okay, the motor mount here had just enough flexibility, and it could be that since I have the jack stand on it, I'm pushing up with it, causing less room, but it had enough flexibility in it to where 
I could get my socket over it and now I'm loosening it up and I think I can get enough room to just take that one completely out so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and see if I can get it out and then I'm sure I can't and I'll bring you back I took that bolt out and I loosened the other there's uh, three bolts holding this that I know of still yeah and I think the pan might be stuck just a little bit so we'll see it's wanting to do something okay I'm gonna take her loose a bunch more she's just not tilting enough it's just not tilting enough I think I've got these loose enough now that I can do them by hand Ugh. yeah I do That's all she needs, a little more, a little more slack, that's all. And, yep, <laughs> it was a nice little mess, as you can see, but you know what? I am got, I've got my little pump here, and I'm going to see if I can't get most of that out of there. Get in there. And that'll take some of the weight off the remaining bolts. And it'll make it a little easier for me to uh, handle it. Oops, I'm making a mess. As you can hear, this is working. My intention was to have it drop down enough to where I could stick this hose in here and avoid this uh, catastrophic mess I have on here because eventually I'm going to have to lay in this or mop it up one or the other. Well, I believe I got enough of it out of there. Yeah, this pan feels a lot lighter. Yeah, this one here. Should. Oh, come on. You're not going to do this to me, are you? There you go. Seems to have a rubber gasket, so it may have been replaced before. Okay. I'm going to take this pan out. And I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put a new gasket on it. And then I'm going to wedge it back up in there and try and get it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a new filter on while I'm at it. I like to think I'll put the filter on now. When you take the filter loose, some of these old styles had a clip that holds these in, but it's basically a, an O-ring that's it's stuck up in there. You want to make sure you get that out. I'm not sure if I got it or not. I don't. I think it's stuck up in there. So that's another thing that's going to fight me. I'll have to go get a little pick to get that out with. Well guys and gals, my camera quit on me so I don't know what all you got, but I got the pan off and cleaned up. There's the new gasket. It's cork and I use Permatex former gasket sealant. Non-hardening. A lot of mechanics don't like that. They like the silicone, but I have had good luck with this. It's harder to clean off, but most transmissions that I have done, the pans and all, when I've used this, they do not leak. Okay, back outside. Remember where this camera quit on me. 
I got the new filter in and I did have to scrape the old rubber gasket out. It was very hard, very difficult to get out, but I did. And I got a lot of fluid all over everything. And I'm trying not to lay in it too much, but I'm ready to go back with the pan. I will wipe the case off here one more time good and I'm going to put the pan on and get all ready to do that. So I'll bring you back when I start with the pan. This is the part that I really don't like a lot because it's so easy to get your gasket offline alignment and with this one it's going to be even more fun because it's not a happy camper. Because all right. Because Stevie jacked it up here, or I mean put the brace under there, and probably didn't need to do that. Oh I could use some light right now. Anybody got a light? Okay, I've got got pretty much all the corners, almost all the corners started. Uh, no problems, gasket stayed in line and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rest of the bolts in all the way around. And then I'm going to go and crisscross pattern, tighten them down to 7 to 10 foot pounds. I'll give you the inch pound rating. Then I'll have to put this pan here back up. And then it'll be time to let it down, put some fluid in it, because you got a new starter and a new uh, filter, new fluid. Dexron 3, I happen to have some, believe it or not, left over <laughs> from years ago. So, we put the bolts in, I'll bring you back. I'll go into here. All right, now we'll go up here. this side I go up to this side corner I mean another one down over here anyway you get the picture and then I'll go around and check them all make sure I got them all and I'm doing inch pounds, seven to 10 foot pounds. And I'll go around and check them all when I think I got them done. Then I'll be able to drop it down, put five quarts in it. That's what it calls for. I'll bring you back in a bit when I get these down to torque. Okay, pan is to torque. Flywheel pan is on. Bolts are all in and everything. So now what I have to do is I lower it and uh, put some fluid in it, check it, see if I got any gears, see if the starter's going to work fine because I haven't checked it yet either from the last video. Still up in the air from the, the last video. And of course put my tools up, clean up my mess, and I think since this job took me forever, I'm going to clean up my mess tomorrow. So people, uh, I hope your repairs go better than this one, or easier anyway. I don't know. Uh, didn't have too much trouble putting the pan back up. Uh, I figured I'd have a lot of trouble with it and the gasket getting aligned up, but that was the least of my worries. The hardest thing was this bolt up in here, probably because I have a, the car halfway supported with this stand on the uh, mount here, and it probably is pushing a little bit up in there. So if you don't put your stand here, maybe go back a little ways and put it on the part of the frame 
might be a better way to go, I don't know. But uh, this, uh, this bolt is a pain, so you might try that. And uh, until the next video, thank you all for watching and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is Cars, Trucks, and Detours, also known as Steve AZ 711. Bye for now, everyone.